Hey everyone, I'm Chromaglow, and welcome to my channel where I review keyboards, tech, and office supplies. Today's video is the first in a multi-part review of a keyboard called the Caracorder, which boasts anyone can use it to learn to type 300 words per minute. Before we go any further, I should say that while Caracorder was nice enough to send me a keyboard to borrow and return to them, this video and all the subsequent videos and reviews about it are not sponsored by the company. The goal of these reviews is to first of all see, does the Caracorder work? Secondly, what are the challenges in adapting to using it? And third, how quickly can a regular person achieve extraordinary typing speeds using the Caracorder? On today's show, I explain a little bit about the Caracorder and how it works and unbox it to capture my initial reactions. Follow-up shows will document my experiences with the Caracorder after one day of use, one week, one month, and three months. So let's get going and explain what this keyboard is and how it works. This is the Caracorder. I know, it looks nothing like a traditional keyboard. Rather than having lettered keys, there are clusters of multi-directional switches. The idea with the Caracorder is each finger rests on a multi-directional switch that can move right, left, forward, backward, or physically push down on the switch. This allows each finger to input five different letters or functions without having to lift the finger off of the key or switch. Aside from the efficiency gain of not lifting your fingers off the keys, Caracorder also allows you to enter all the letters for a word at the same time. These clusters of letters together, or chords, are automatically descrambled and put into the proper order by Caracorder's onboard software. These two things together are the basis of how it's possible to enter sentences in the time that it takes to normally enter a single word. Caracorder's website is full of interesting information that talks all about their idea of typing at the speed of thought. It also states this technology can be used for coding, gaming, creative workflows, as well as typing. I'm really excited to see how this technology can apply itself to typing, let alone to all these other areas. Enough backstory and talking, let's get to the unboxing and Chromaglow's key takeaways. Here we go, folks. The moment is finally upon us. Let's do a little magic to get inside the box. And there we are. I really like the box and this cutout there. It's, it's very well branded. It's a nice quick start card there in the top. Shows you where everything is. And underneath, lo and behold, the Caracorder itself. Wow. Uh, I think my first reaction is, holy smokes, it's really small. I just look at the size of my hands and uh, I wonder, how am I going to fit on this device? Uh, how is this keyboard going to work for me? It does appear to have a really nice USB cable though. It's, you can't tell, but it's very softly woven. It's not stiff. It's definitely high quality. Having quality cables always feels like a good touch point. It looks like it's really in here with some zip ties. So we're gonna do a, a little more magic here to get it out. And there we go, voila. I think it's just as disorienting out of the box as it is in the box. It still looks incredibly small. I, I just can't get over the, the size of it. I mean, when I look in relation to my hands, uh, the Caracorder just feels really tiny. Size aside though, it has a pretty good feel to it. It feels more solid than I thought it was going to feel. On the bottom, it has these uh, screws right here so that you can take it apart and separate it like the keyboards that you can purchase that uh, have two halves there to get closer to your shoulder width. So I think that's maybe what I'll do here is I'll take it apart so that it can be a little bit wider. I think that might help with the feel. It's got this neat connector here in the center. It allows you to do that. Let's check it out in comparison to my daily driver Keychron K4 keyboard. I think I have the ruler here. We can measure the two. See the uh, 
10 keyless keyboard comes in at just about a foot almost exactly and if we measure the care quarter it looks like it's just over 11 inches almost 11 and a half inches so in terms of width i think a lot of this probably is optical illusion when i put my fingers on the keys here there's two definitively different sensations one when you go directionally in, in terms of up and down left and right another when we push in on the keys themselves both forms of feedback definitely are not anything like any other keyboard I've used, so I've got to keep that in mind, I've got to block that from my mind, that this feels much more like using a, a game controller, certainly. I like the feeling going side to side and forward and backward much better than when pushing down on the switches themselves. It's more clicky when you push down on the, the keys. There are really good feet on the bottom of the care quarter, though. Notice it's, it's not sliding around whatsoever. It really feels like it's heavily, or I guess well anchored, to the desk in front of me. At this point, I'm just trying to get a feel for the keyboard itself and how the, this is going to conceptually work. I'm feeling definitely in over my head, trying to imagine sequences of how to push these switches. I think that's a pretty natural feel for anybody at this point who is making this shift. I have intentionally shielded myself from most information about the care recorder and how it works. I really wanted my reactions and learning process to be candid and, and captured just so that other people can see what I went through in the learning process of adopting the care recorder. My first impressions and key takeaways are that the keyboard is rather small. I'm feeling intimidated by it, as well as really excited to dive in and see how I can make this work. That just about wraps up today's show. The next episode will be after I've had a day of hands-on practice with the care recorder. So until next time, folks, take it easy.